Come on, what's up, me poor love and come Auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim My name is Movi Munir Abu Bakar Yusuf I was born in Golu a village in Bauma Chiefdon Bo district um, I came from a very renowned Muslim Sunni background and I'm currently serving as missionary in the Ahmadiyya Muslim community My journey to Ahmadiyya started when I transferred to Lombly in year 2000 I was staying close to Ahmadiyya Mosque, and after having gone there for congregational prayers for a few days, the missionary one day interrogated me and encouraged me to keep coming to the mosque for prayers. And that lasted for five years, from year 2000 to 2005, before I finally signed the bayat or initiation to Ahmadiyya. What motivated me to keep going to the mosque was the message of Ahmadiyya which the missionary was preaching, always was based on evidences from the Holy Quran, hadith of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, um, instances in the life of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and sometimes from the Bible. After I have joined the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, I have observed so many changes in my life. The foremost I can say is the knowledge of Quran. First, the recitation. My recitation was not good. And this, you know, come across so many uh, non Ahmadi Muslim scholars in Africa who are not trained by Arabs. Even if they can speak the Arabic language, but the recitation of the Holy Quran has so many errors. At the same time, we used to read the Holy Quran for money making. When there is funeral, when there is naming ceremony, or when there are programs, we recite the Holy Quran in order to make money. But having joined the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, we learn or we read the Holy Quran for, to gain the blessings of Allah the Almighty. At the same time, we used to read selected portions from the Holy Quran, like Surah Yasi, to, to be specific. We read it, read it again and again on a daily basis. But having joined the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, I've come to learn that the 114 chapters in the Holy Quran are worth reading at all times. So we try to complete the recitation of, of the Holy Quran on a regular basis. Having become an Ahmadi Muslim, there are two main uh, fundamental issues that make me convinced completely that this is the true community, the true Jamaat, foretold by the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When I wanted to go to Jamia, you know, my uncles, my relatives became so worried. They, all of them were preaching so badly against Ahmadiyya to me that Ahmadis are not Muslims, they are Kufar, they are trying to undermine the progress of Islam. So my heart was broken even. I stopped going to the Ahmadiyya mosque for two good weeks. After which, Movi and Mami Sisi, the missionary of Ahmadiyya Muslim community, went to my house to inquire. I gave him flimsy excuses, and after he has returned, I, Allah guided me to offer, you know, istikhara prayers. And that same prayer was talked to me by the Ahmadiyya missionary. After offering that prayers, I got a series of dreams. We are in, I saw the Khalifa, I saw people pronouncing me an Ahmadi, you know, people saying that Ahmadiyya Muslim community is the true Jamaat. So based on this, I finally uh, went to Jamia. In Jamia, something happened. Our late missionary movie, Khalid Dawi Sahib, may Allah bless in paradise, one day taught us that Jesus, son of Mary, has died, a natural death, and Hazrat Mirza Gulam Ahmad of Qadian Salam was the promised Messiah and Mahdi, was a prophet. Oh my God. Even though I had seen those dreams, I became shattered completely. So the missionary observed my countenance and inquired. I told him outrightly that I don't believe what you said about Jesus Christ's death, and I don't believe that prophet will come after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he just smiled at me and entered the room, brought some books, the Holy Quran with commentary, Arabic dictionary, Munjid, you know, and other books and guided me to do my self-research on the topics. After I have done that research for a whole week, 
I completely convinced that Ahmadiyya is right. Our Sunni Maliki believes, non Ahmadi believes about Jesus Christ being ascended to heaven, a life was completely wrong. And that to say no prophet will come after Muhammad وسلم, was a gross mistake from us. So Alhamdulillah, my faith became much more stronger and stronger and stronger. And Alhamdulillah, I pray to Allah the Almighty to keep going like this. So Alhamdulillah, I'm Ahmadi today and I pray to Allah Almighty to guide all humanity, you know, under the banner of Ahmadiyya, the true Islam. Once more, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Na 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 na